The niche I have for you today is something unique and very much interesting. In this video, I will show you a very detailed demonstration of how you can set up your YouTube channel with this niche. So, the niche I am talking about is the creative education niche. Focus on the word creative, as we won't be creating those simple PPT education videos. What we will be creating is something totally different and very much interesting. We will start by getting the name for our channel, then we will create the logo and banner for the channel. Then we will generate some interesting video ideas and the script through AI. Then we will start with video and audio creation. Don't worry, we will be using Canva 11 Labs and CapCut only, and no other complicated editing software. Then we will create attractive thumbnails in Canva. And at last, we will get our title, description, and tags for our video. This is an end-to-end -end tutorial to start your YouTube journey, so please watch till the end. I will also be sharing some very important resources for video editing with you in this video, if you stick to the end. Now let's start with getting the names for our channel. We will get to Gemini and enter this prompt here. Now Gemini will give us some good channel names, but here the thing is, most of the channel names already exists. So what we can do is we can combine these names to make something unique, like if we combine the first and the twelfth, we can make it Tech IQ. Or if you take a look at the fourth one, Tech with everyone, we can make it Tech with Sam. I mean, you can add you name at the end, like Tech with Tim, etc. etc. Now we have our name Tech with Sam. Now we need a logo for our channel. For that, I have created this image. With Leonardo AI, you can generate AI images using various AI tools out there. And if you don't want to use AI image, then don't worry. Go to Canva website. Here you can search for the logo template and click on it. Once the template loads, you will see these example templates here. But I will suggest to go to Elements tab. Here and here, search for the object you want in your logo. For example, if your channel is related to tech education, then you can search for computer brain or robot, etc. You will find some very good images. Some of them are premium and some are free. But the resources I'm going to share with you will also contain Canva Premium, so don't worry, you can choose any image. For example, let's say we choose this and change the background color of the canvas to black. That looks pretty cool. Now you can download this image from the share option here. Now we need a banner as well. For that again, go to Canva and search for YouTube banner and click on this option. Here you will see very good banner ideas, but we will switch to photos option and search for something related to our niche for example, we will look for technology background and some very cool images will appear. You can choose the one you like and then right click on the image and set it as a background. Now hit R on your keyboard and align it in the center this way. Now you can add your channel name here. Just hit T on your keyboard and a text box will appear. Type in your channel name and look for some cool font. I like this one. You can even add your logo image here. Make sure that the elements are right in the center. As if it is not, it won't look good on mobile phone. Now you can download your banner image from here. We have our name, logo, and the banner. Now comes the idea generation part. For this purpose, we will again go to Gemini and enter this prompt. You will get some very good ideas for your videos. For example, let's take our original idea, what is LLM, if you search on YouTube. For what is large language model, you will see some videos, but they are completely in a technical language. So for example, if a kid of about 15, 16 YRS, age wants to understand LLM, then definitely he does not have a proper resource for it. But I am pretty sure that after watching this video, you will provide the resources to them. Okay, so now we have our topic and now we need a script as well. So we will enter this prompt in Gemini. Make sure to change your topic here. Now pause this video and take a look at the script. It is really amazing and very easy to understand. Now we have the script ready, but what about the audio and the video? For audio generation, we will get to 11 labs. Now this tool provides a free trial for up to 10000 words. Later, you will have to pay for audio generation, but you know what the resources file I will share with you also contains steps to use this tool for completely free. Okay, to generate audio, just enter the script part by part here, then choose the voice from here. There are many cool voices available. I personally like the Chris voice, as it sounds natural, so I'll use it. Now simply click on the Generate option. Now, generate the audio for the complete script and save it to the audio folder. Now we have the script and audio. We also need the images for the video now. So for that, we will again go to Gemini and type in this prompt. You will get image generation prompts for each frame. 
but avoid such prompts that are directly related to your channel. For such cases, you can use stock videos from sites like Pexels or even Canva itself. Okay, so to generate images, we will move to Decohere AE. And here, just enter the prompts for the images you want to generate. You will see some really cool images getting generated, but looking at static images is not that fun. So you can click on the video option here and set the video motion to two and click on the tick mark option. Now some kind of animation effect would be added to the video. That looks fun, but sometimes it might not work and we would have to use stock images. So let's first download this video and start getting the stock images. Go to Canva and look for video template and open the first option. Once the canvas loads, go to the apps icon here and click on the videos option. Here you can simply search for the videos. For example, a kid studying in library, you can create such multiple videos and save it to the video folder. Now we have all the media. We can move to CapCut now. Using CapCut is easier than Canva, and I will show you the steps in very detail. Once you open CapCut, you will see this page. Click on the New Project option. Once your new project loads, you can simply import all the media files here by a simple drag and drop. Okay, so here I am not going to create that exact video, but I will show you exactly how you can use CapCut to make your video. Now bring the first audio in the timeline, and then bring the stock video or the generated image that matches this audio right here. Now do this process for each video and audio file. It will look something like this. Now we will need some good effects for our videos. For that, we can click on the effects option here and you will find plenty of effects available here. Based on your likes, select the preferable effects and drag it above the frames like this. Click on the text option here and select the auto captions option and hit the create button. Then the captions will be generated automatically. Now to format the text, we will have these options here. I will suggest choosing the Oliver font, then go to the templates option, and there are many good options available. I will choose this one, then go to the animation tab and select the captions option and select either the bounce out or spring option. Now our video is almost ready, but we can add one more thing to it, and that is the background music. I already have some copyright free music with me, so I will use that Make sure to keep the volume of this music very low so that the main focus will be on content. Now, finally, we will create thumbnail. For that, just head onto Canva and search for thumbnail template and choose the first option. Here, you will find a lot of thumbnail templates. You can search for the template here. For example, I will search for technology and we will find a lots of templates. Not for example, I will choose this. Now, just change the text here. This already looks good. Now you can even add glows to the image. I will search for white glow and add it to the screen now and position it like this and change the position to back. This looks pretty good. Now click on the share option and download it. Now we have the video and thumbnail. We need title and description for that. Again, visit Gemini and enter this prompt and you will have your title and description ready. Now the resources part you all are waiting for. Just head on to our YouTube channel and click here to get to the bio and then visit our website. Here you can click on the resources option and you will find all the resources for free. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.